A reading from the Franciscan Book of Saints. May 5th, Blessed Amatus Ronconi, Confessor, Third Order. Blessed Amatus was a 13th century tertiary who rose to great heights of sanctity by serving God as a hermit, as a pilgrim, and as a nurse. Born at Saldezzo, near Rimini, about 1238, he lost his parents while still very young and was brought up by a relative. He was then urged to get married, but he felt that God called him to a life of prayer and penance. After joining the Third Order of St. Francis, he fled to a solitary place and began to live as a hermit. By many, he was considered a fool, but God showed how much he was pleased with the virtuous life of Amatus by marvellous signs. A mysterious light was seen shining over the hut which served as his shelter, and heavenly songs were heard to issue from it. Amatus left his hermitage at times to make pilgrimages on foot to Santiago de Compostela in Spain and other famous shrines, or to care for the poor and the sick. He founded the hospital of St. Mary of Mount Orciale, near Rimini, and there he spent the last six years of his life as a nurse. In 1304, he died at the age of 66, and ever since then he has been venerated as a saint. So many miracles were attributed to his intercession that Pope Pius VI approved his cult as blessed, and his feast is celebrated at Rimini on May 15th. However, his name has not been placed in the Franciscan calendar. A Reflection on the Fear of Death Whereas the saints eagerly desired death and rejoiced when the hour came, many people are in terrible fear of death. Why is that? In some cases, it is because such people have sought all their happiness in this world, eager to taste all its pleasures without a thought of the will of God. They feel that their comedy is about to end, to be followed by a long tragedy. The fear that harries them is striking evidence that everything does not end with death. O death, how bitter is the remembrance of thee to the man who has peace in his possessions. Ecclesiasticus 41.1 also, mere attachment to material things without their having enjoyed them may at times fill people with fear at the thought of being separated from them by death. True Christians are mindful of those other treasures which we cannot lose in death and which constitute real comfort in that hour. The just man has hope in his death. Proverbs 14.32 Shall this hope be yours? Consider that there is a natural and justifiable fear of death, which even the saints sometimes experienced. Death was not originally intended for man. Had not man sinned, he would at the end of his span of life have passed on to the paradise of heaven in a glorified state without the separation of body and soul. But by one man sin entered into this world, and by sin, death. Romans 5.12 when our first parents violated the command of God, the sentence of death was passed on all the human race. The fear of death should rouse us in a fear of sin and all violation of the divine commands. Because we have at times violated these commands, fear seizes us in the face of death, for after this is judgment. Hebrews 9.27 As the fear of death should keep us from committing sin, the fear of judgment should urge us to make a sincere confession of our sins and to do penance. Then the fear will be our salvation. The fear of the Lord is a foundation of life to decline from the ruin of death. Proverbs 14, 27. Consider that we should not let the thought of death take unreasonable possession of us. Saint Augustine says, just as we should fear and love God, but must love him more than we fear him, so with death, although we fear it, we should still more love it. For as St. Bernard says so beautifully, death is the gate of life. From this wretched life, where there is scarcely a day without its troubles, and in which we are always liable to sin mortally, death is to lead us forth to an eternal land of bliss, in singing the praises of God. That is why St. Francis in his dying moments pleaded with the psalmist, Bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise thy name. Psalm 141, verse 8. 
When the thought of death worries you, make a prompt and frequent offering of your life to Almighty God at Holy Mass. In union with the sacrifice of Christ, you may then confidently expect a blessed death. Prayer of the Church Receive, O Lord, we beseech thee, the sacrifice which we offer for the good ending of our lives, and grant that by means of it all our sins may be washed away, that we, who by thine appointment are stricken with thy scourges in this life, may win eternal rest in the life to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.